Hi everybody, I'm K.M. Wyland, and I'm going to show you how to create a scene list in the Outline in Your Novel Workbook computer program, which is based on my books of the same name. So obviously when a lot of us think of outlines, what we're really thinking of is the scene list. And I believe, and as you can see if you use the program, there's a lot more to outlining than just that. Outlining is ultimately about brainstorming all of the possibilities. For your story but ultimately it has to come down to creating all of those possibilities adding them and collating them into a scene list that you can then use to create a cohesive narrative so that's one of the big features in the program is the scene list so if you go to ge the tab general tab up here at the top scene list is going to be the first option and if you click it you get this page which is currently blank because i haven't added any scenes but adding scenes is very easy and you can make this um, as in-depth or as cursory as you want it to be. You could even go so far as to actually write your entire novel in this section. So I'm going to show you kind of how you can do both of those things. So let's just say that you want to create a cursory scene list that tells you the various events that are going to happen in your story so that you can use that as a reference point when you're actually writing your narrative in a different program such as Word. Or Scrivener. So let's say there's um, one of the scenes that you're going to write is a big battle. So you create that scene and that just kind of shows up here. And then to add a new scene you punch the little plus button here and that's going to give us, I punched it twice so I got two scenes. Now you can also write just about as much as you want in this field. So like I said you could write your entire scene in this field if you want to. I'm not going to force you to sit through that while I do it, so I'm just going to copy paste some text from my novel Dreamlander so you can kind of see what it looks like when you add a lot of text. So as you can see the box kind of just expands exponentially to allow you to keep writing and then when you click out of it it closes down and you're just going to see the first line or whatever you put in here. Now another cool thing is that as you can see there's folders here. So if you want to combine scenes for whatever reason, maybe you're wanting to combine uh, the two halves of scene structure. Scene, which is action, and sequel, which is reaction. Or maybe you're just wanting to put a couple scenes into one folder to indicate that they all belong in the same chapter. Well, you can definitely do that. All you have to do is click over here in this um, kind of looks like a notebook page section and drag that into the folder where you want that scene to go. And then it's going to indent under that. And you can um, access it within this scene. And now to take it, the scene back out of the folder, if you made a mistake, what you do is you take this drag bar here and you move it down onto another scene's drag bar where you want to place it. This is not going to combine them. This is just going to tell the program to pull it out of that folder and remove it. So the same thing, if you have all files um, that are all in the same category so that they're not in folders. Um, if you want to reposition them, you just drag these. It's not going to put them in folders. You only do that by dragging the drag bar over to a folder which combines them. Now to get rid of um, any scene that you don't want, if you want to delete this blank scene or whatever, all you have to do is punch the trash can and it will go away. And the other cool thing that you can do is color code your scenes. This is something that I talk about in outlining your novel that I do when I'm writing my own outlines longhand in a notebook so that I can kind of keep track of everything that's happening um, at a glance. If I'm trying to find a particular idea um, or if I know that something's something I want to keep or it's just something I'm going to need to work on later, I use color coding. So you can do that in the program as well. So if you write something that you know is great, you're done with it, you don't have to work on it again, it's going to be added to the book, then you can highlight it in blue. And then by the same notion, if you come up with something that you know is an incomplete idea, you highlight it in red. If it's a good idea that you know you're going to need to work on later and flesh out so that eventually you can change it to blue so that it's completed, you can do it in green. Uh, pink means that you're going to need to reposition the scene at some point. It's not happening at the right point in the timeline. 
And um, orange is just kind of, if you come up with something that's general plot information that's important but isn't necessarily going to belong in the finished scene list. So you can make use of this. I mean, you can obviously use whatever colors you want. You don't have to follow what's suggested here in the guideline. But to help you be able to look at your outline, your scene list at a glance, and be able to immediately go through it and know what needs work, what doesn't, um, what's going to be important in the final book, and what's just kind of background information.